Quick video here, where reports of an 84 anti-tank weapon system destroying Russia's most modern tank, the T-90M, with Nakitka thermal camouflage, which should help the tank lower the radar band, as well of infrared and thermal signature. So did a $1500 single-use anti-tank weapon system destroy Russia's most modern $4.5 million tank? Well, it's definitely possible it could do so. The AT-4 could have a hard time penetrating the tank's more well-protected areas, but could either hit a weak spot or get a mobility kill where the tank's track is damaged, leaving the operator often to abandon the tank. However, watching the video, it didn't look right as the smoke came from inside the tank, pointing to a penetration into the tank. Also, while the surrounding isn't completely seen, it shows a smaller weak tree line with a field on the other side. As the AT-4 has very limited range of around 300 meter, it didn't seem probable that it was the work of the AT-4. I later came across this video showcasing just before the tanks get destroyed. While hard to pinpoint what hits the tank, the surrounding and artillery shell hitting beside indicates that the tank was hit by an artillery shell which resulted in the T-90s ammunition burning up inside. While the AT-4 could do the job, the shorter range with the more open front makes this attacking capability extremely hard, leaving more possibility for Stagna P or the Javelin, if not for even further range weapon systems such as artillery. The end result is another of Russia's most modern tank to get destroyed, marking this as the 10th reported T-90M, with another 35 T-90 destroyed in other versions. That's all I had for this video. Please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.